Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie at Our Contented Home. I am so excited about this week's video. I recreated some beautiful vintage bird prints and I did it for a whole lot less. So I've been doing a bedroom refresh and hopefully I'll have that video up next week so you can see all that I've done. These, I've been looking at these vintage bird prints for a long time and they are very, very expensive. And I just couldn't justify spending $400 on four bird prints. And so I kept looking at it and I thought, I can recreate that for a lot less money. I recreated these for $20. All I had to buy were the picture frames because I had everything else laying around. If you recreated this and used everything that I did and had to buy everything, it would cost you around $53, but you would still have a lot of the supplies to use for other projects. So I'm gonna take you along and show you how I did it. Please let me know how you like it. Leave me a comment and let me know how you like it. And I hope y'all enjoy. This was my inspiration that I found on the Michaels website for $414. These are the prints that I found on the internet. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can find them too. I don't have a video of me cutting these down to size, but I cut them down to about five by seven size. And I'm folding down the edges because I want that uneven edge. And this way it'll kind of help me um, tear the right amount off. I just did that on all four prints, just went around folding the edges down. You'll see why in the next step. So this is how I'm gonna give my prints that uneven look on the edges. I just, after I folded them down, I just put water on that fold and then go back and tear it off and it'll tear off unevenly and just look old, aged, and beautiful. Just do this step slow and carefully so that you don't tear the rest of your print. It shouldn't tear, but just be extra careful. This is what it looks like when you finish that step. The next step is to paint your frames. Maybe you can skip this step. I wanted to wax mine, and so I went ahead and just painted a coat of black paint on mine so that the wax would stick on it better. My inspiration pick, the frames that they used were wooden, and I need black in my bedroom, so I'm just painting mine black, but you can do yours wooden or white or any color that would match your decor. For the background, I'm just using plain drop cloth, and I've just had this sitting around because I paint a lot, and so I use it um, under my furniture. But I just took the back of the frame and just cut a piece of drop cloth to fit it, and just cut out four of those, because I'm using four frames. And then I just put it around the back and hot glued it into place. This is what it looks like on the front. I think it turned out beautiful. 
This next step is optional. I'm just rubbing white wax all over my frames to give them that vintage look, but you don't have to do that. If you do this step, after everything's dry, you can pop it back into the frame. I did not use the glass on mine. I just put a little dab of hot glue on each corner of the print and stuck it into place. Here's the finished project, and I'll show you the whole room in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would hit the subscribe button. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Our Contented Home. See you next week. Bye-bye.